Hi, boys and girls. Thank you so much for tuning into today's Read Aloud. I'm so excited to share this story with you. So we've been talking about community helpers, and today the story we are going to read is about a construction worker. A construction worker is a community helper that helps build things for us. So in this story, we're going to read about these construction workers and all of their different trucks and heavy machinery. So we know that construction workers use lots of tools and they have lots of different trucks. As we read the story, I want you to think about a time that you were at a place like this. So at the end of the story, we're going to see what they were building. And then you can make a a text to self connection and tell someone in your household whether or not you were at this kind of place before. And if you weren't, then tell the person in your household if you would want to go to a place like this. All right, let's get started reading. The title of the story is B is for Bulldozer. The author is June Sobel, and it's illustrated by Melissa Iwai. Take a look at the front cover of the story. What do we see? How many trucks do we see? Can we count? One, two two. Good. How many construction workers do we see? One, two. Where does it look like they're sitting? Hmm. I wonder where. I'm going to have to read to find out. Do you see the asphalt for paving the road or the big shiny bulldozer? Pushing a load? I see a crane way up high in the sky and a rusty red dump truck rumbling by. Wow, look at that crane. Cranes lift up really big materials, really heavy. Here comes an excavator to dig a huge hole. Huge means very big. Nearby, there's a forklift holding a pole. So they're moving the pole. Let's look for the grater on the roadbed and a man with a hard hat protecting his head. I spy an I-beam made out of steel and a jackhammer making a noise you can feel. Jackhammers help to break up the concrete. Hear that kaboom? What a loud sound. Look, that huge loader scoops dirt from the ground. Watch people swing mallets at a swift pace, pounding in nails to hold parts in their place. Can you make a prediction and try to guess what they're building? Hmm, look at the illustrations. Look at the pictures. What do you think? Let's find the operator at the controls, guiding the pipes into the holes. They're making something with some type of track. What goes on a track? Train, roller coaster. The welders won't quit till the metal is bent and the new safety rails are placed in cement. See an elephant face. See the scaffolds come down before our eyes while the workers pack up their tools and supplies. Oh, looks like they're finishing up their project. See what looks like a carousel. The underpass barrier is taken away. Now visitors enter. It's opening day. 
It says Wonderland Grand Opening. We see a ticket booth and rides. Where are they? Yeah, it looks like they're at an amusement park or a carnival. The construction work is finally done. Our excitement grows. We're ready for fun. For more than a year, we've watched the park bloom. Now hold on tight. Here we go. Get ready to zoom. Look what they're riding. That track was part of the roller coaster. Did you predict that they were building, the construction workers were building a roller coaster? If you did, good job. If you did not, that is quite all right. Boys and girls, I want you to think about a time that you've been to an amusement park or a carnival. What did you do when you were there? If you haven't, I want you to talk to someone in your household about if you would want to go. And if you would want to go, what would you do at an amusement park or a carnival? Thank you so much for tuning in. I miss you guys so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow for opening group. Bye, guys. Love you. Miss you.